Hi guys, I am here at my parents' house. And um, we still have some stuff that's happening that I can't share right this second, but I did uh, mention in my last video that we were moving and so I was packing up the house and it's been really crazy and so I haven't been able to get out videos very regularly um, and well we basically have moved into my parents house and I'll be able to explain why soon hopefully um, but for now we're just enjoying being with my parents and um, getting extra help with the kids and I'm loving being on the water and having this view every day which is nice and my hubby goes kayaking with my mum's kayak pretty much every day as well which is awesome so I thought I'd come down to the lake here and just chat um, so I wanted to share where I'm up to with my situation with um, my hand expressing and getting off the medication and stuff and I know that I said I was going to get another upbeat video up um, and I haven't done that yet because it's literally been so crazy I've been having to adjust the girls to living in a new place um, and with so many new people as well well not new people but you know just living with other people and so um, that whole adjusting phase has been really difficult as well so I have just been just taking one day at a time and my mum has been really sick and um, so that got Haven really sick and so Haven for the first time is like really sick well she's getting better but for a couple of days she um, had really bad um, congestion and she's still got a cough. So I went to the homeopath yesterday and I got some stuff for her and for Caprice because Caprice has had this cough for like weeks and she's not sick, she's just got this cough that just won't go away. So um, I got some stuff from the homeopath yesterday which seems to be doing well and they're on elderberry and all sorts of stuff. And I will actually do an updated video soon about what I use when they get sick um, because they don't get sick very often but when they do, um, I have you know my special little things that I give them and it usually clears it up pretty quickly unfortunately though this cough has just been lingering and the homeopath actually said yesterday that um, <clears throat> that lots of people have been getting this cough and it's just been hanging around for freaking ages oh my gosh look at this hello They usually get fed all around here, so the birds are really tame. But it almost freaks me out a little bit, because I'm like, I don't want you to bite me. <laughs> so he's coming right up, like he's so close. Oh, swimming away now? Oh, no, he's turning back around. Every time I talk to him, he turns back around. So anyway, I think he thinks I have food, but I don't, I'm sorry, buddy. Gosh, he's getting so close. Anyway, I'm just going to continue talking and hopefully he doesn't bite my toes. Um, so, we've just been trying to adjust to being here, and so that's why I haven't had a chance to do another video. But while Caprice is in her little preschool. She's at a Steiner kindy and while she's there and Haven's napping I thought I'm just gonna come down to the water. The rest of my family's up in the house and I just wanted to have some quiet time and um, I wanted to be able to make a video because I just haven't been making them very often. So I wanted to just update you. So basically I got a call. I've been on a wait list. I did mention in one of my recent videos about 
the fact that I have hernias and I needed to get a sur like the surgery to repair them. I have four hernias um, umbilical, so on my stomach, and they're very painful, causes me not to be able to exercise and all of that kind of stuff. And um, I've been on a wait list with the hospital to get the surgery, and they called me and said that they were able to get me in on October 10th. So that was a couple of weeks ago that they called me and told me that. So that was pretty exciting. I booked in, but um, the closer that it gets, like it's literally less than two weeks away now, and the closer that it gets, the more nervous I get because I've been <clears throat> in surgery before, but you know I, I'm very health conscious now and I'm very aware of um, the repercussions and certain things going wrong in the surgery and stuff. So I am a bit nervous about that. So there's that and then also, um, so living with my parents is going to be a godsend for that because I'll be able to get help from them. Hello sexy! <laughs> Just going kayaking. <laughs> What a hottie. I married up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Huh? I'm taking in water here. I'm going to pour <laughs> Do you need me to push you? You just sit back, you relax, alright? <laughs> so, anyway, so. <clears throat> having my parents here and to help me after I recover like while I'm recovering from the surgery is going to be an absolute godsend so that's amazing that we're going to be here for that so I have four hernias and I had uh, multiple different opinions from different doctors and we came to the conclusion that surgery was the best plan for me to repair them basically my stomach lining has like broken in four different places so I have like four different hernias sticking out um, in my abdomen area um, but eventually that stomach lining is over time is going to just tear into one big long tear and when that happens my intestines like my guts are literally just going to fall out of that lining the lining is supposed to hold it in obviously and that I'm just gonna end up looking pregnant forever until I get it fixed and I don't want it to get to that point it's not at that point yet but one of them is getting bigger and bigger and it hurts a lot a lot a lot so um, I just know that it's the right thing to do I am nervous about the anesthetic uh, I don't want to be on anesthetic like don't get me wrong but um, sometimes you know that's where Western medicine is actually a blessing because we can do things like this and I'm able to get them repaired and so I went to a homeopath yesterday and I got some homeopathics that I'm going to be taking in lieu of having the painkillers uh, I think I have a pretty high pain threshold as it is um, and I know that it's going to be very painful and it's going to be you know a different kind of pain to giving birth obviously but um, I got some homeopathics to help me manage the pain and I got Arnica and things like that to help with the bruising and all of that kind of stuff. So that's good and so yeah, so that's basically it on the hernia spectrum. So um, like not even 10 days and I will be going into surgery and I kind of want to vlog it. Is that really weird? I don't know if I'll be allowed. But I'd love to I'd love to try so I might I might ask and see if I can like I know I'm not going to be able to vlog it and I know that obviously being in the surgery it's not going to be filmed gross but I'd love to be able to like have my husband film me as I'm kind of going in saying goodbye and then him coming in to see me when I'm waking up um, I don't know it's just something that I would love to document and why not vlog it if I can so I'll see how I go with that um, and then the next thing that I wanted to talk about was um, obviously the breastfeeding stuff. So um, I finished my pills and it was kind of just in time because yesterday I woke up in excruciating pain. I hadn't hand expressed any less but I had multiple clogged milk ducts in my left breast 
My breast was so big and so sore. It was literally a square. <laughs> it was so bad and all up here was just hard as a rock. It was so painful. So I spent all of yesterday in a lot of pain and had multiple hot showers and hot compress and just trying to massage it out and I used lavender oil and um, I didn't have any lecithin but and I didn't really want to get it unless I absolutely had to and I was having issues but it ended up being okay and um, I got the, the, the clogged ducts out myself just through massaging ferociously all day long and just hand expressing as much as I could. So uh, it worked out well that I had finished the medication because I just knew that it was the right time. Um, I didn't just I just didn't want to keep it up anymore. So I am off the medication now completely. I'm off my milk cocktail. I'm not trying to tell my body to keep producing more milk, um, except I am still hand expressing. So it is still going to trigger my body to still produce some milk. Um, and I am getting I got quite a lot this morning and I got a little bit just this afternoon but I can feel it um, I can feel my supply plummeting pretty quickly my boobs aren't filling up like they normally do and I know that it's going to decrease rapidly from here on out and so um, I think I, I will I'll hand express tonight and hopefully I'll get enough for one feed for Haven and then I think tomorrow morning I'll probably really struggle and I will just keep hand expressing until I'm just not getting much at all and then I'll just stop and let my body naturally dry up so right now I'm still hand expressing I'm still producing those hormones so I'm not feeling sad because I still feel like I'm producing for her, I'm giving her breast milk and I've, I've got about, I've actually only got about five days worth of breast milk in the freezer. I thought I had a lot more, but I don't. So it's pretty scary like thinking that in five days, um, well, maybe six, she won't have any breast milk anymore so that's pretty scary and just saying those words out loud right now is makes me realize how scary that is and how sad that is but um, I know it's what I have to do it's what I want to do and um, I tried giving her homemade almond milk and she hated it <sighs> oh. So I'm making macadamia milk now and I'm going to see if that's a sweeter nut. So I'm going to see if she likes that better. Um, and I may just have to go through a few days um, transitioning her where she loses it and just has to learn to get used to the new milk. Um, I have been told by people to, to mix breast milk and the new milk and just do a small amount and then increase it and I tried that and even with the smallest amount of almond milk she lost it and wouldn't drink any of her bottle and I just don't want to risk wasting the remainder of my breast milk on trial and error and hoping that she'll take the breast milk mixed with the other milk so I <clears throat> am just making up some macadamia milk today to then give her a full bottle of macadamia milk tomorrow and if she doesn't drink it that's fine she doesn't have to but I'm just gonna get her used to the new flavors so that when and I'll keep offering it to her every um, feed and then if she doesn't drink it then I'll give her breast milk um, and then when I've run out of breast milk then at least she's tasted it before and it'll be an easier transition for her um, to accept that there is a new milk that she has to drink so so sad I just hate the fact that she is not ready to give up breast milk and she's like proving quite difficult to actually transition her onto breast milk too uh, off off of breast milk too so um, it'll be interesting but that's where we're at um, I actually weirdly enough feel a lot more stable today and yesterday than I have in so long and 
I don't know if that's attributed to the fact that I haven't been on the medication now for two days, but yeah, it's just really weird. Like I just feel so much more normal. Um, but I know I'll go through a weird phase with my hormones again where they're rebalancing after I stop producing the milk, but <clears throat> for now I feel good. And yeah, so that's my update. Sorry this has been so long, but I'm going to try and get a what we ate today video out in the next week. That is my goal. That's what I really want to do, but I also am going to hopefully vlog the hernia operation. Um, and that and that situation what I'm taking for um, pain relief and all of that how I recover and yeah so thanks for listening to me I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I am looking forward to making another video very soon I've been terrible with them lately and I'm really sorry but I'm getting there I'm getting there and I really hope that I can share some good news with you soon because it is good news. I just cannot say anything yet. <laughs> so anyway, love you all and I will see you on the next video. Hot. <laughs>